Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to look at creating figures in LaTeX. This is an important skill. So if you look on the right hand side, you'll see the figure that we're going to import in our LaTeX document. On the left hand side, you can see the markup that we use to do exactly this. So at the top, we have our document class. As always, we're still in the article environment. And then there are two packages that we use that we haven't seen before. The first one is the graphics package. You always use the graphic package when you insert a figure. So that one is quite standard. The one below it, use package float, is not necessary, but it gives you a nice option to specify your float. And I will tell you a bit more about that later in the lecture. Then we begin our document and then begin figure. At the end of begin figure, at the bottom, there will be an end figure, just as there is an end document. And between begin and end figure, we add our LaTeX code to import our figure. Now I want you to pay attention to the lowercase h that stands right next to begin figure. Now that h is the float specifier. What it does is it tells LaTeX where in your document to place your figure. There are different float specifiers and let's have a look at some of these. So if you look at the table on this figure, you can see that there are six specifiers. Lowercase h, lowercase t, lowercase b, p, then you have an exclamation mark and then uppercase h. So let's have a look at what each one of these float specifiers do. So lowercase h, that means place the float here more or less approximately at the point it occurs in the source text. However, and this is important, not exactly at the spot. So LaTeX can move the figure around a bit in the final document to make sure that the placement of other objects in your text like tables or other figures are optimal. So that is if you specify lowercase h. You can also specify lowercase t, which would then tell LaTeX to position at the top of the page. Lowercase b would position the figure at the bottom of the page. P will, will put the figure on a special page. Then exclamation mark would tell LaTeX to override internal parameters that LaTeX uses to specify or to determine good float positions. So then you can override it and you can tell it yourself where you want to put it. Then capital H, which I find quite handy, places the float at precisely the location in the LaTeX code. So that means if you have a paragraph of text and you then type the code for your figure and you have another paragraph of text, for instance, that figure will pla be placed exactly between those two paragraphs. Note, however, that to use the uppercase H float specifier, you need to use the float package. And you have to type use package float in your preamble. And that is why I did that there at the top. We have the option, the possibility to use a capital H float specifier. I sometimes find that quite handy because I don't always like it that LaTeX puts the figure somewhere else in the text. Okay, so let us carry on with creating our figure. So after you said begin figure and specified the float, you label your figure. So you have backslash label and you can give it any label. I like to start my labels with a descriptive word like fig for figure or tab for table or eq for equation, then a colon and then a specifier like in this case laptop. Um, you don't have to do it that way, but I like to do it so I can distinguish between different labels. Then in the next line, I say backslash centering. That puts the figure nice in the middle of the page. Then between two curly brackets, I'm going to include my graphics. So I, this is important. I say backslash include graphics. Then I specify the width of the figure itself. You can also, instead of specifying width, you can specify scale. I specified in this case width equals 0 0.6 of the text width. 
and then in curly brackets we give the directory for the figure so in this case it's figures forward slash implement so let me show that to you if I open my file structure and I open my folder containing my figures you will see that there is a figure called implement and LaTeX will go fetch this figure if the if the directory is specified correctly it will fetch this figure and it will place it in my text so within those two curly brackets you specify the directory of your figure then I give it a caption I say backslash caption in this case just straightforward a laptop and you can add a citation in there if you want we will look at citations later on in the, in the course if you look on the right hand side you'll see it is labeled figure one a laptop and then you can say end figure you're done you've included your simple figure this is something you'll use a lot and you'll see that when you build a, a large document you type this out once and then every time you want to include a new figure just copy and paste these few lines of code and you edit them with a different directory a different caption a different label the way you want it so it goes really quickly once you have the hang of it